If you own any Bitcoin, you could be sitting on a gold mine. Rare Satoshis that are worth a lot of money. Satoshis are the smallest unit of Bitcoin and they're named after Satoshi Nakamoto, the founder of Bitcoin. And even if you have just $100 worth of Bitcoin, that is 385,000 Satoshis. And some Satoshis are more rare than others. And if you hold them, people are willing to pay you a lot of money. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what these are, which ones are valuable and how to easily check if you're a lucky holder. It's unlikely that you are, but it takes just a couple minutes to check. So why not? And in the event that you don't hold these rare Satoshis, there is a way you can go Satoshi hunting. However, it does come with some risk. And all of this started with Bitcoin ordinals or NFTs on Bitcoin. Bitcoin layer one does not have smart contracts like Ethereum. So these ordinals are not on smart contracts. Instead, they are inscribed directly on Satoshis. And Casey Rotomore, the creator of ordinals, created his own index for what he believes to be rare Satoshis. Common, any sat that is not the first sat in a block. Total supply, 2.1 quadrillion. Then we have uncommon, the first sat of a block. And here's where things get interesting, rare. The first sat of the first block in a new difficulty epoch. There's only 3,000 437. This is a very small number. And then we have the epic, the first sat in the first block after a having event, only 32. And then we have legendary, first sat in the first block after a coinciding having event and difficulty adjustment, only five. And mythic, the first sat in the Genesis block, only one. And these are very difficult to get. This is why I call it the golden ticket. If everyone had it, or even a lot of people had them, it wouldn't be a golden ticket. However, there are other Satoshis that the market deems valuable. Because these are collectibles, the free market will also decide what they think is worth a lot of money. There are vintage sats, sats mined in the first 1,000 blocks, palindrome sats, sats whose number reads the same way backward or forward. There are pizza sats, sats from the 10,000 Bitcoins used to purchase two Papa John pizzas on May 22nd, 2010. And this one right here is very interesting. Block nine, sats mine and block nine, which are the oldest sats in circulation, unless Satoshi's wallet wakes up. And you don't have to agree with any of this. You don't have to agree that these things have value. All you have to know is that there is someone willing to pay you a lot of money if you happen to hold any of these rare Satoshis. So let's go ahead and quickly check to see if we hold any. And you will need Bitcoin in a self custody wallet, such as Xverse or Hero Wallet. If you have your Bitcoin on a centralized exchange, you will not be able to do this. Remember, not your keys, not your Satoshis. The first site we're going to use to scan for rare Satoshis is Ordinal Hub. I will leave a link for everything down below. So we'll enter a Bitcoin address and scan for unique sats. Scan completed. We did not find unique sats in your address. Another scanner we can use is satting.io. This one I prefer. Enter our address and check. And it will show you if you hold any of these rare Satoshis. And it will also show you if you hold interesting sats such as Bitcoin pizza sats or vintage sats. Now, if you do not hold any of these rare Satoshis, you can go Satoshi hunting by taking your Bitcoin, sending it to a centralized exchange, and then sending it back to you. If you send Bitcoin to a centralized exchange, and then you withdraw back to your wallet, you will get back different Bitcoin. So you send your common Satoshis with the hopes of receiving back rare or maybe legendary Satoshis. However, it does come with a set of risks. BK Shark, a Bitcoin whale, was sending 50 Bitcoin in and out of five different centralized exchanges, Satoshi hunting, until every single one got banned for suspicious activity. So when you're Satoshi hunting, sending Bitcoin in and out of exchanges, the first thing is you, of course, have to trust that exchange. The second thing is that if you do this so much, it will look suspicious and the exchange might lock your account. And another thing is that you will spend a lot on transaction fees, sending your Bitcoin in and out, in and out, over and over again. 
And the likelihood of you getting these rare Satoshis is very low. So that is something to consider. However, it did work out for ZK Shark. He was able to get his hands on Block 9 Satoshis, the earliest Satoshis in circulation, unless Satoshis wallet wakes up. And he inscribed OMB ordinals on these Block 9 sets. And if you do get your hands on the golden ticket, these rare Satoshis, whether it's by luck or Satoshi hunting, You'll also have to make sure that you separate them and protect them. On satting.io, you can separate these Satoshis and inscribe on any sat. You go through the process and you're rich.